Looking for a coffee bar or beverage station idea for the season? Then stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on how I DIY beautiful and functional decor in and around my home while on a budget, as well as travel, food, and paper crafts too. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you come back and tune in. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration, and this collaboration is called Coffee and Beverage Bar Collab. This collaboration is being hosted by Kimberly of Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis and Kenya of Kenya's Decor Corner. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating in this collaboration. Now the details to this collaboration was that we are to create or show your beverage of choice and style out your bar for the season. So I've decided that I'm gonna share with you my fall coffee bar. Predominantly a hot coffee bar, but I will also include an option for iced coffee as well. So let's get started. I shopped my home to create this fall coffee bar with everything except the pastries, of course. The Keurig is already here. This is where it sits. And I've already got a fall arrangement. And this is my coffee bean grinder. I went to Jamaica recently. I made sure to purchase some Blue Mountain Jamaican coffee beans so that when we come back, we can grind our coffee beans for fresh coffee in the morning. I love Blue Mountain Jamaican coffee. You all have seen this tray before. It usually sits on the island, but I currently have something else sitting there. My eucalyptus plant, I, I don't even remember where I got that from. Um, I don't know if I got it from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, someplace like that. Um, just as like the floral spray that I have, of course you'll know my signature, I call them my signature, um, I've claimed ownership to these picks that I got from Michaels. So I call them my signature uh, fall picks and a fall floral spray in the back. Those came from Michaels. Um, the glass jar that they're sitting in, that comes from the Dollar Tree. And the crystal gems that are the glass filler in that vase come from Michaels. Now I added my wooden signs. You had me at pumpkin spice. I thought that was so cute. I got that at Joey and Crafts. And the wooden sign that sits behind it is actually the one that I have currently sitting on my island. I thought that was cute. It goes along with my pumpkin spice theme. The creamer is just for decoration because I do tend to use the flavored creamers and they have to be refrigerated. So it's a lot easier just to get the creamer out of the refrigerator, but that there is so cute. I just couldn't resist having it there on the bar. Fresh cinnamon sticks for anyone who wants. And then I also have some K-cups. Um, you can either grind some Blue Mountain Jamaican coffee beans or you can use a K-cup. Predominantly in here is Green Mountain and Dunkin' Donuts of various flavors. Pumpkin spice, baby. I got that from Joy and Crafts as well. So I purchased the croissants from Wegmans uh, along with the pumpkin spice banana nut bread. And I also created that pastry sign that says pumpkin spice banana bread. And I made a second one that says buttery croissants. You know how like when you're in Starbucks and they have the little handwritten signs for the pastries? I made my own pastry signs. So I added some of the chameleon cold brew vanilla coffee for those of them that like iced coffee. Okay guys, that's it. We're all done. I've styled my coffee bar and beverage station for the season. I like it. What do you think? Leave me a comment and don't forget to like and share. Thanks you guys for spending some time with me. I appreciate you tuning in. I want to thank Kimberly of Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. And I want to thank Kenya of Kenya's Decor Corner for inviting me to participate in their open collaboration. 
If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I upload new videos every week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so make sure you come back and tune in. And with that being said, you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!